What's up people of the internet? I'm the big boat here with yet another video. In this video we'll be testing the Intel Celeron N2840 which is a CPU based on the silver mod architecture and part of the Batria family of power efficient processors. It has two cores and two threads and it has a frequency of up to 2.58 GHz. The Celeron N2840 has the Intel HD graphics page rail as the integrated graphics, which have 4 unified shaders and a frequency of up to 692 MHz in the N2840's case. It's also based on the Intel HD 4000's architecture, while using the latest driver suite available. We also have 4 GB of RAM in single channel mode, as well as a 500 GB hard drive for the operating system and a 1 GB external one on which the game is installed. As for operating system we are using Windows Excite Optimum 10 Pro version 2. You can find the full description of the specs in the video description down below. The game that we'll be benchmarking today is The Amazing Spider-Man 2. I thought it to benchmark a Spider-Man game on the N2840 for a long time actually. I think to note, for some reason the game refuses to work at any other different resolution than 800x600 in full screen mode. I've tried to fix this little problem using two different fixes, but neither of the fixes worked. So if you want to play this game at a different resolution, you have to use windowed mode. Because of this, one thing I would recommend doing is to right click on your taskbar, go to taskbar settings, then enable the automatically hide the taskbar in desktop mode setting in order to hide the taskbar during gameplay. And let's get straight to the point now. And now let's enable the full screen option, because, well, you don't have to play in Windows at 800x600, since it only works in that resolution in full screen mode. Arms dealers tend to be paranoid and careful. No way am I gonna fight Carradine unless I hack the closest antenna and intercept his calls.
And let's untick the full screen option once again, because you want to play the game at the lowest resolution allowed, 640x480, cause I repeat, it's impossible to run the game at a different resolution than 800x600 in full screen. Since I want Spider-Man to be full screen like even at 640x480, we're gonna lower the desktop resolution to search by right clicking on the desktop, then go to display settings. Now, the settings might look different depending on your windows, but go to advanced display settings, display adapter properties, list all modes, and choose the 640x480 option, then hit ok and finally apply, and we've lowered the desktop resolution. Finally, since it's impossible to launch a game from the launcher at such a low desktop resolution, you will have to go to your game directory, then simply run the game from the game.exe file, and we're finally done! guys love to use burner cell phones that can't be traced. But if I find the transmission tower, I can tap into it and hear what they say. <laughs> 